Tristan Thompson, T. Son Chloe. Hold Do on, you what, think it's for ratings? Oh, it's real. I didn't uh, think about that when I first saw. It. I just thought about it. You dumbass nigga. That boy, I can't keep his keep his lizard in his pants. But then I think I was watching Good Nation and Brett was like, no, no, no. This shit here for ratings. They're doing this shit for ratings. He took all their phones at that party, but then he somehow left the bloggers, the people who write blogs and who are cool with the Kardashian and do stuff for their TV stuff. He left them in there. But they were for, I think, uh, I see other stuff. They were like, yo, that whole day of Valentine's Day, that nigga was doing nothing but cheating. Yeah, but that's what I was talking about earlier about uh, Clarkson, his teammate. Mm. Clarkson one who threw that party, and they were like, yo, he had sex with like seven different girls that night. Yeah, because they were like, yo, he spent the day with Chloe on Valentine's Day. He left by 11, I think it was 11.53, and then he went to that spot, chilled for a while, drunk some alcohol, then went up to a room with two other chicks for about 30 minutes, and then came back down. It was like... You see how these people are around here? He you don't look, know what? He, he looked like one of them dudes who got himself in a bad situation, and he didn't know how to just uh, say I'm out. Yeah, he didn't want to just break up with her, so he said, "Shit, I'm gonna just do horrible shit until she break it off with me." And that's kind of how he doing stuff. Now he had. Did you see him with that shirt on that said "Black men don't cheat"? Then they gotta stop with that. No, nah, you know what's funny? Black dude said, no, nah, we was talking about African American. That nigga's Canadian. <laughs> no, that also what uh, Man, he's Canadian. Oh, also, we ain't claiming him. That also what that nigga Sean Man said on his on they said they were like, yo, uh black man, y'all know black man, we don't cheat. And they were like, What you trying to say? You trying to say Tristan Thompson ain't black? Shit, he ain't he from Canada. Yeah, he's <laughs> he Canadian. He's Canadian. He Canadian. Yeah, we ain't claiming but him. You know what? Like to me, to me at this point, it don't seem like people understand why black dudes say that. When black dudes say black men don't cheat, what they're trying to do is tell women they got to be accountable for the choices that they make. See, black men don't cheat. White men don't cheat. Asian men don't cheat. Latino men don't cheat. But immature boys, who is in men body, cheat on women. That was, yeah, that was but the thing was. is, Women have to take accountability for the douchebags that they choose to date, bro. That, that nigga daddy came out and said he Yeah, like drunk. when your daddy say you ain't shit, goddamn. Listen here, yeah. ladies. If you ever go over your man house and hit daddy like, you know my son ain't shit. <laughs> you probably want to believe that nigga, man. You might want to believe the daddy, ladies. Yeah. Don't you be messing with no man if his mama and daddy say he ain't shit. You over him thinking you know better than them. They been around that boy their whole life. They know he ain't shit. And we were just talking about uh, Antonio Brown and all his history and why you wouldn't want to trade, for, why we wouldn't want to trade for him. Well, I do the same thing with women and dudes. And going by Tristan Thompson history is he had he got another baby mama. But and that's my point. That's what I want to ask you about. Do you feel bad for Chloe, which I know no. you don't. But, <laughs> but let's just say you did. You did. Does it make any difference that she was cheating with Tristan Thompson? Tris- Tristan Thompson was cheating on his baby mama when she was pregnant with Chloe. What goes around it, comes around. I didn't know it with Chloe, but if it was. Yeah, it was. Then, yeah. But that, that's the thing. I always do say that when I see this stuff. It's like, yo, uh, you what the, what, what the saying is? You get them, you lose them how you got them? Yeah. So you got to be worried of that. And now I said, like, that dude, daddy said he wouldn't hit no shit. His da- uh, daddy said, I hope she know. She having a baby by my son. She got two kids now. Mm-hmm. Uh, my son ain't nothing but a kid himself. And that friend, Kylie friend, he got, like, where she ain't yeah, a friend no more. Ain't no bad, more. Bad wrenching. And it was funny because they were killing her on team. I said, I don't, because I don't pay attention to their ass. But did nice and they were like, yo, you know that girl Jordan. She ain't got them goddamn hands messing shit. And she started feeling herself. She started looking good. The dude started being attracted to her. So. Bad rent. Yeah. Bad rent. I'm and telling you. Was, I'm telling you, women. I, a lot of women out here are like racist white folk. See, racist white folk don't have a problem being racist. They have a problem with you calling them racist. Yeah. And some women 
They don't have a problem being gold digging, back wrenching whores. They have a problem with you telling them that's what they are. And I said, yo, it's a good thing, Kylie. You call her uh, because I'm pretty sure we look at them car facts. If, if Travis Scott living with y'all, uh, uh, you think Travis Scott ain't, ain't dipping in that old Jordan or she ain't trying to get Jordan to dip in her cookies and why you ain't around? Not that nigga. Yeah. Not, not, not Travis yeah. Scott. Travis Scott look like one of them dudes who be happy just to get some pussy. Yeah. I don't know. Not Travis Maybe. Scott. Maybe. Because I was like, no one ever like, yeah, she, she, she used to live with Kylie Jenner. I was like, really? Yeah. Like, they were like, they really, really good friends. <laughs> and that's why I said, like, <laughs> not no more. they were talking about with, <laughs> not they no were like more. Kim. Like, Kim said she felt uh, betrayed by them. I was like, you sure? That was mm-hmm. your sister friend. And she over there sleeping with, mm-hmm. they got, I'm telling you, man, they need to change their Kardashian name. Kardashian, the Kardashian name to Jerry Springer. This shit is like a, a soap opera. This is a Jerry Springer show, man. Because you got to like... Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Yeah, because you, like, you look at that, you're like, yo, if anything, Jordan, you supposed to be snitching on him, saying, hey, you know that nigga was over there kissing on another woman. Who? Well, I don't want to say nobody's name because I might, I might feel bad. It was me. And that's how it was. Yeah, it's crazy. I was like... This is bed wrenching, man. Mm-hmm. Th- th- this is bed wrenching. That's all this is is bed wrenching. Mm-hmm. When I'm like bed now, Chloe, because uh, obviously, like I said before, he got one. What did one of the dude comments on uh, Twitter were horrible? He said Chloe is with a dude who 26 years old working, worth millions of dollars, and she looked like Babe Ruth. Of course, he cheating. <laughs> that was <laughs> That's my thing cold. as well. Man. It was like, yo, it used to be a thing about people calling her the ugly Kardashian. I guess because she lost weight. I mean, hell, Lamar Odom was dating her before she lost weight. So, uh, and we know some niggas just don't give a fuck. They'll hit, they'll hit anything. But uh, I guess you thought you lost weight and people started talking about you more that you had came up. No. Yeah, she thought she came up. She she invested in a bullshit-ass man, and it backfired. That's what it was. It backfired. Her, and my thing is, because she dated dudes like that before, and she, so many chicks don't learn. Cause she dated James Harden. Except James Harden was smart and said, "I ain't going to impregnate your ass." But this dumbass. But my dumb thing that yo, he ain't already done that. He ain't showed his hand before that. Yo, he impregnated his baby, his first baby mama, and what he do? Start cheating on her. Yeah. So you really thought that yo, after he impregnated you, he was going to stop cheating? Hey, back. Like, and that's what I said. Just the, the boy daddy said he wouldn't shit. All right. Mm-hmm. And then you stuck with a baby. Now you probably, of course you love your kid. Yeah, she ain't she ain't gonna be, like it ain't the same, you know. I know where you were going with it, but she she got money and he got money. She gonna be fine, fine in that situation. But man, she just she fell in love with a dick. No, but I, what, what I'm trying to say that yeah, it, it was towards that. But also, I think that most people, most women in a way, that when they have a kid, they wanna. So I always stay with they. They wanted to be the family thing and now, but shit, I guess you can still have it with a step dude. But I guess for some people, they want their original baby father. Everybody do, but that's why. Mm-hmm. That's why you pretty much had to do, have to do an investigation into people, man. They can't. You cannot spank. You cannot Especially. allow physical attraction mm-hmm. be the thing that overtakes you. You got to focus on the person, personality, character, morals, and values, man. Yeah, and if you ain't focusing on those things about somebody, and you focusing on if you're a man and you fucking on tits and ass, yeah, your ass is headed down a bad road. If you're a chick and you focusing on whether a dude got some money, yeah, you headed down a, a bad road. Better start focusing on people, personality, character, morals, and mm-hmm. values. Because if not, see, the thing is, is when you talk about, yo, I want a girl who look like this, a girl who look like that, a girl that I can watch this TV with, this TV show with, this movie with. What you asking for is a good time. No, if problem is with good time, they don't last long. Mm-hmm. They don't last long. That's the problem. That's the same thing with women. Women be telling me, I want a man got this much money. I got one man who got that much money. Look him, boo. Who could take me here, take me there. Yo ass is looking for a good time. Good times don't last long. People who get married and be together, man, for... Ever of long ass time, those are people who are focusing on personality, character, morals, and values. At the end of the day, when you talk about marriage, what marriage is, is being with someone that you can tolerate. 
where you can get up in the morning, look over, and not want to vomit. That's, <laughs> that's what marriage is. That's what marriage is, man. Put up, put up with your shit and deal with it. But people be looking into the wrong thing for people, and that's how they end up in these bad situations. Mm, and that's what I said for her, like because he like he been the ain't shit dude for yeah, a minute. That's what I'm trying to say. Like it's hard for uh like for owner like his track record is public. You know about this. Now not everybody uh track record of whether they cheated on somebody is public knowledge. But you notice that he cheated on his first baby mama. Or with other people, you know that they have cheated on their spouse or whoever before. So when you go in this, you gotta be like, um, fifty fifty. This dude or this woman has changed. Fifty fifty, they ain't. Yeah. 